Hello everyone, this is Farshid with Red Disc Seal. So this is a quick video to help you determine which Red Disc Seal is best suited for your application. If you are a subscriber to my channel, thank you and welcome back. If you're not, please consider subscribing, it's free. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss upcoming videos. So Red Disc Seal is the uh, original disc and the seal for uh, sealing against the water getting back behind the finished wall where the spout uh, for the bathtub is installed so which one is best for your application well it depends what's coming out of the wall so if you have a copper pipe like this with no fitting at the end of it and uh, it's a half inch copper pipe the actual diameter of the half inch copper pipe is five eighths of an inch. So the best solution for that is the one solid rigid piece that slips onto the uh, copper pipe. And then we have the flexible O-ring that goes into the groove and uh, it's done. So there are installation instructions as well as videos that i've put up for how to correctly install this so make sure you watch that the next version which is for cases where we have a copper pipe however at the end of the pipe there is a fitting attached and you can't remove the fitting you could but then it requires some uh, plumbing so with those since we can slip that disc over the half inch copper pipe we have the split version. So the split version, the way it works is made out of two pieces. There are no O-rings involved and I'll, you'll figure out why uh, quickly here. That's how it goes on. Okay, so that's the split version. Again, there is uh, a video out there that I've made uh, showing how to install the split version as well. So obvious reason you don't have an O-ring with it because you can't slip an O-ring over it. I've seen people sell the split version with an O-ring. really doesn't make sense because cases where you use a split version, you can't slip an O-ring over this pipe here. You could, but you destroy the O-ring, okay? And in cases where you don't have this fitting at the end, the best solution is one rigid piece. And the reason for that is most cases, the walls are not they're not even. So you end up with a grout line someplace or the texture uh, like this. With the uh, rigid piece, uh, it allows you to fill those cavities uh, with uh, caulk. So here's one that uh, I pulled out of a remodel that was installed actually in 2017. And here's another thing about the material that we use versus the copycats is that this material, the silicone caulk sticks to it really well. I've uh, seen and I've heard and uh, there's been reviews uh, on my channel on YouTube that the customers have bought both versions and uh, um, they're quite satisfied with ours because the other version, the pliable version, the copycats that are being sold on Amazon, the um, silicone doesn't stick to it. Uh, and that's a, that's a big problem because you need something to seal back behind and fill those cavities. So next thing that uh, we have is our G version, where the G version goes for pipes where they're either galvanized pipe coming out of the wall that the threaded at the end or a brass pipe that's also threaded at the end. So it's a one piece pipe, doesn't have the fitting at the end of it. The G version, you can tell that the diameter of the pipe, even though it's referred to as a half inch um, NPT pipe, the diameter of this pipe is uh, typically around seven eighths of an inch. So this is five eighths of an inch. This is seven eighths of an inch. You can tell it's a bigger pipe. If you buy this version, it's not gonna fit and you have to purchase the G version. So the G version, the concept is the same, one rigid piece that goes over like this. And we have the O-ring that um, gets applied the same way as the C version, the original version. And uh, again, the uh, method of installation is the same as the C 
and there are YouTube videos that I have out there. So there you have it. So there are the three versions. That's the G version for a um, brass or a galvanized uh, half inch pipe, which the outside diameter of the pipe is again, seven eighths. We have the original, which is the C version that goes on a copper pipe, half inch copper pipe, half inch copper pipe. The outside diameter is five eighths of an inch. Last but not least, we have the split version. The split version is for applications when you encounter this fitting at the end of the copper pipe and you cannot slip the original red disc half inch over the pipe. There you have it. So hopefully this will help you guys order the correct one. And keep in mind again, best option is go with one piece rigid for better silicone caulk adhesion. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification.